Some developing news in Riverside County were continuing to follow. A rail car leak has shut down a section of the 215 freeway and led to evacuations in the city of Paris. Travis Rice joins us live now where a news conference has just concluded, so he has the very latest information for us this morning. Travis, good morning. Tony Aroxia, good morning. We just learned a lot more about this rail car and the substance that's been leaking from it. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, this is an infrared photo of that rail car. The white hot image there, that is the rail car that is full of styrene. That's that uh, sort of resin polymer that is presently at 304 degrees. That's why uh, crews are so far removed from this scene right now is because it, it's been increasing in heat. And the concern is that this uh, this tanker can explode. Now, this is actually just a little west of the 215. We're going to show you a map of uh, what this area looks like. Now, they have about a half mile radius around this rail car, uh, basically cordoned off. That includes the metro link. Uh, that includes the railway. That includes also the 215 freeway. So essentially, there is um, uh, the crews now have told us that they're kind of in like in a holding pattern, waiting until they can get close enough to approach that tanker because, again, the temperature of it uh, keeps increasing. Um, as for what crews are doing now, they are um, currently just kind of in the, the standby position, as I mentioned. They're also attending to people uh, in uh, the shelter, which is where about 170 homes and their residents were evacuated to. Um, as for the next steps, there's a, also a crew coming in from Las Vegas that is apparently skilled in handling these sorts of events. So um, one thing that we did ask them earlier is if they were able to tell us just how large this explosion could be. They said it's a lot different than a propane explosion because, because this is sort of a, a solid uh, liquid sort of type material, but it is still a concern because, again, there are several uh, industrial structures just within a few hundred feet of where this, uh, this hazmat situation is. Guys? Okay, uh, Travis, thank you for the update uh, story. Obviously, we're going to continue to follow. Mm -hmm. This is serious and could have uh, some serious repercussions as yeah. well. Thank you.